सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं वरदे कामिणी विद्यारंभ क्या मे सदा ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणा मूर्त नम सदा शिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरु परंपरा ओम शांत शांत शांति हरि ओ श्री गुरुभ्यो नम Let's take a sankalp. Okay, so we were looking at uh, the halams of attaining nyana, uh, atma nyana. Okay, self knowledge. So we've already seen jivan mukti as the halam, and as a part of jivan mukti, what do we get? We get independence, so psychological independence, swatantriyam, and we get samatvam. equanimity and we get purnatva it's not that we get all these things get all these things but we understand that we ourselves are poor so there is no lack there is no deficit of anything in our lives and then we were looking at videha mukti so we said that videha mukti means freedom after giving up this body freedom from coming back again and again in samsara freedom from taking rebirth now to understand why uh, how do we get freedom from rebirth we have to understand why we get rebirth in the first place and we saw that rebirth happens because of our papa punya in order to experience the fruits of our papa punya in order to experience the a uh, karma phalam we have to keep taking birth again and again so the law of karma is completely responsible for rebirth and so the law of karma itself is responsible for freedom from uh, rebirth also right so in order to understand how to get freedom from rebirth we have to understand the law of karma very well and last class we saw the law of karma once again and we saw the benefits also of understanding of assimilating of completely accepting the law of karma making the law of karma a part of your system so we saw that it has so many benefits okay? and the main benefit i think is that ki हमें सो वी वी टेक चार्ज ऑफ आवर लाइफ वी टेक चार्ज ऑफ आवर फ्यूचर कि वी आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर आवर ओन फ्यूचर सो इट इज नॉट दैट वी वी कैन पैसिवली जस्ट डिपेंड ऑन आवर नसीब कि हाँ यही लिखा है यही होने वाला है नो आई हैव द ज्ञान शक्ति आई हैव द इच्छा शक्ति आई हैव द क्रिया शक्ति i'm blessed with all these three shaktis and that that means i have the power of choice i have the free will and i can choose to have a better future i can act accordingly i can execute my free will in a way that i can have a better future and another thing is also there that 
we uh, if we accept the law of karma we develop that acceptance also acceptance about choiceless situations we said that there could be so many choiceless situations right so we don't have a choice but to accept those situations accept them with a sense of responsibility without blaming anyone accept accept those with your titiksha shakti so have titiksha in the choiceless situations and use your jnana shakti ichha shakti kriya shakti to bring about changes in the situations where you have a choice where you have a choice to make your life better so that's what we were looking at this law of karma the whole thing now why this whole mahabharat of law of karma was done again because now we have come to videha mukti based on this law of karma see these punyams these papams the adrishtam that a person acquires so that adrishtam is divided into three parts yeah we have mentioned those three again and again throughout our course but now at the end of the course when when we have a complete background then these three will make absolute sense to you okay so these these papa punyams all the adrishtams they are divided into three types okay so all the papa punyams which are accumulated in the infinite past janmas in all your past births all of them which are accumulated they are called sanchita punya papam or sanchita adrishtam sanchita means accumulated it means collected means all the punya papams of all the infinite past janmas that we have had as human beings okay all those infinite punya papams they get collected in like a big bag okay this is just for your visualization for your imagination so that it's easier for you to understand so they get collected in a big bag which we call sanchita these accumulated karmas are called sanchita karmas okay now out of all these sanchita karmas ha huh, all the accumulated sanchita karmas only one portion it is ready for fructification at a particular time means out of these infinite sanchita karmas only some karmas they mature okay they they get they get matured only some sanchita karma seeds they germinate and they are ready to give fruits all the sanchita karmas don't mature at the same time okay just like our fixed deposits they mature at different times no or we 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 spoke about the seeds also different seeds the papaya seeds mango seeds coconut seeds planted at the same time also but they germinate at different time they fructify at different times same way our different sanchita karmas they mature at different time so those maturing or fructified punya papam they are called prarabdham to jo accumulated sare punya pap hai wo ek bag mein collect hote hai jisko hum sanchita bolte hai so those are sanchita karmas sanchita karmas are lying dormant okay wo kuch nahi karte hai wo seed form mein pade rehte hai usme se sirf kuch फ्रक्टिफाई होते हैं कुछ जर्मिनेट होते हैं मच्योर होते हैं जिन्हें हम प्रारब्धम कहते हैं ठीक है सो दो पुण्य पाप कर्मास ऑफ पास्ट जन्मस विच आर स्टोर्ड एज संचित आउट ऑफ देम सम आर रेडी टू गिव फ्रूट और कर्म फलस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सुखम और दुखम ओके सो एंड दीज these ready karmas okay these red these karmas which are ready for fruition they are called prarabdha 
समझा सो आउट ऑफ दिस होल बिग संचित बैग वन वेरी स्मॉल पैकेट ऑफ कर्मा इज रेडी टू गिव फ्रूट सो दैट पैकेट ऑफ कर्मा विच इज रेडी टू गिव फ्रूट दैट इज टेकन एंड डिपेंडिंग ऑन वॉट काइंड ऑफ फ्रूट आर देर इन दैट पैकेट in that prarabdha packet in that small prarabdha packet out of the big sanchita bag depending on what is there in that packet what kind of karma phalas what kind of fruits are there in that prarabdha packet we get a particular janma so that prarabdha packet that chhota sa prarabdha packet decides whether we get a human birth or an animal birth or a celestial birth whether we become devtas and even if we are born as human beings there is still taratamyam right there is still gradation that also depends on the prarabdha only yes sitarji so the karma you are talking about that uh, that create consciousness right we we are developing consciousness uh, as per whatever uh, karmas we are doing uh again you are getting confused consciousness is always there okay it is always there it is associated with our sukshma shariram also always till the time this jeeva bhava is there so this prarabdha karma decides our sthula shariram okay it decides what kind of body we will get whether we will be an insect or an animal or a human being so that is what the prarabdha decides okay so is that, that your question ha huh. so rebirth is not as per the consciousness uh, um, because i think uh, we have studied that uh, con- consciousness decides the you know um, whether you are going to take the rebirth or not uh, even like moksha is depend upon consciousness right so oh, hitarji consciousness is akarta it is abhokta it doesn't decide anything it is okay. just there consciousness is what it is the atma that we spoke about it is the brahman that we spoke about right okay. that is the consciousness principle the pure consciousness principle it just lies like the screen of a movie theater okay on that all the projections are there okay on there all these jeevas are getting projected now what projection we will get will we be projected as a human being or an insect or a plant or as a devta that all depends on our fructified karma phalam the packet the prarabdha karma okay consciousness does not do anything like electricity it just mm-hmm. lies there you get a bulb you get a tube light you get a fan whatever you connect to it it enlivens mm-hmm. okay. so don't get confused about what is consciousness okay mm-hmm. okay here it is the prarabdha that decides what kind of janma we'll get when we get a rebirth what kind of body we will get okay whether we will get a healthy body whether we will get a diseased body even if we are human beings even if we are dogs we we might be in a ac room with our master all the time or we might be a stray dog with hardly getting any food so everything whatever we are going to experience in a particular janma that depends on our prarabdha okay in infinite janmas we would have done infinite karmas and hence there are infinite papa punyas but all of them don't affect us at the same time most of them lie dormant in that sanchita bag only a small packet that germinates that is ready to give fruits fruits how in the form of sukham and dukham and when that is ready to give sukham and dukham that means we have to take a form right a stool a shariram in order to 
experience those sukham and dukham. What is the definition of the stula shariram? Bhog ayatanam. Means it is the residence where you can take the, we can experience the bhog. We can do, whether it is sukham or dukham, wo bhogne ke liye ye ek medium hai. So that medium depends on the prarabdha. Understood? Clear now? Yes. Okay. Ma'am? Yes? Sanchit karma ka shota sa portion germinate hota hai. Right. Paki ka sanchit karma, jo bag full hai wo? Wo vaisa hi rehta hai. Wo domain rehta hai. Jaisa aapka ek bank account hai. Okay? Usme se thoda paisa aapne nikal diya. Use karne ke liye. Baki ka paisa wo bank account mein hi rehta hai. Wo vaisa hi safely udar rehta hai. Okay, it stays in a dormant condition over there. Just a seed form, mein, unmanifest mm. form. Mm. Usme se jab dusre karma, uh, uh, after the, at the end of this body, when other fruits, uh, other seeds germinate, other karma phalas germinate, so dusra prarab the packet banta hai. Or uske sab se hum dusra jan dete. Taken for a big empty ki bina mukti milegi? That is what we are going to look at. So the bag, how can it get empty? Because every time you take a janma, you keep doing fresh actions, no? Hum karm karte hi rehte hai. So, agar bohot achhe bhi karm kiye, to bhi wo karma hi hai. Uska phal bhogne ke liye bhi ana hi padega. Wo sab sanchita mein jata hi rahega. So, we'll look into it. How our sanchita bag gets disconnected from us. Okay. Okay. How, how does that bag get empty? Okay. So let's look into it. So, pehle, to hum prarabdha karma dekh rahe the. so because of our prarabdha, we get a human birth. Okay. And now if because of our prarabdha, we have gotten a human birth, then we are not only bhuktas, but we are also kartas. Okay. So that means ki Manushya Jan me, we not only exhaust our prarabdha karmas by experience the sukha, dukha karma phalas, but we also do so many actions. Every waking moment, right? We are constantly doing some or the other action. And by doing that actions, we become kartas. That means we are creating new, fresh actions. We are creating fresh Unyas and fresh papas also. Okay, now you understand this thing very clearly. Only human beings can be karta and bhukta both. Okay. If suppose you get an animal janma, then you are only a bhukta. In an animal janma, you are only a bhukta. You are not a karta. You have just gotten that lower birth in order to uh, basically just uh, experience the papa phalam and exhaust those papa phalam. Why you, you are not a bhuk, you are not a karta in the animal birth? Why you are only a bhukta in the animal birth? Because animals have limited intellect. We saw in the beginning only, no, that it is the buddhi, it is the dharma that distinguishes human beings from animals, right? So in the animal birth, you don't deliberately, willfully do an action. You have limited intellect, limited buddhi. You are just programmed to do what you have to do. So in the animal birth, you only exhaust your prarabdha karmas. You don't create new or fresh karmas. So as an animal, even if you kill someone, even if you bite someone, okay, even if you uh, hurt someone, it is not out of free will, but it is out of programming. In an animal birth, you are exhausting your predominant papa karmas. Okay. Now, if you are born as a celestial being, huh? if you are born as a devta, then also you are only a bhukta. There you are 
exhausting or enjoying your predominant punya karmas but as a human being we do so many like most of our actions are deliberate actions willful actions we use our free will to produce fresh punya papam and that fresh acquisition that fresh earning of karmas that is called agami karmas samjha unka naam agami karmas hai teen dekha humne ek sabse pehle sanchit karma okay sanchit karma is all the accumulated punya papams which are stored in this big bag of sanchita okay all the punya papams of infinite past janmas out of that one small packet fructifies based on that we get a particular janma that that small packet of fructified punya papam is called prarabdha and when you are experiencing your prarabdha uh, sukham and dukham so when you are in this janma because of your prarabdha as a human being then you do new actions every day right and those new actions they are called agami karma okay now those agami karmas they can fructify or they can produce result in this janma also or if they cannot give fruits in this janma then they will also get collected in that sanchita bag okay jaise humne kuch agami karma kiye जिसके वजह से हमें जो जिसका जो फ्रूट मिलने वाला है वो शायद हमें आज ही मिल जाए या कल मिल जाए या अगले साल मिल जाए ऐसा भी पॉसिबल है बट दे माइट बी सो मेनी आगामी कर्मस विच आर नॉट पॉसिबल टू बी एक्सपीरियंस्ड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर जन्म सो व्हाट हैपेंस दे अगेन गेट कलेक्टेड इन दैट संचित कर्म बिकॉज वी है bear the fruits of those karmas yet to wo to reh gaye na baki to they will get stored in the sanchita karmas yes sitar ji uh, you have mentioned about uh, the animals have um, limited uh, uh, you know uh, sense so i have seen uh, videos many times on they are acting you know better than humans like for example uh like human compassion and all ha huh, many many in many sense right. uh so like humans are eating you know uh like cook food or you know they they have developed medicines and so many other things but you know animals are living uh, normally on nature uh you know uh, so they have instinct of you know uh, understanding the nature uh, power yeah. uh, so like uh, for so a few other there are many uh, things like that there were animals are more aligned with nature what nature has given yeah. and uh, humans are far away from you know what nature has provided yeah. so i just want to understand you know uh, the in that sense uh, humans have degraded from animals uh, degraded than compared to animals so correct so one word you use that animals instinctively connect to nature like that right mm. so it is an instinctive behavior hitarthi it is not a planned or deliberate behavior right so even in animals if you see a cow may be very very compassionate okay that is her instinctive nature whereas a tiger may be like really aggressive that is the tiger's instinctive nature right even if a tiger wants to i mean the tiger cannot because it it cannot even want to it cannot even have that free will to become that compassionate okay because they have this limited intellect yes when you are saying that human beings have in a lot of sense degraded even they have gotten worse than animals their behavior is 
way worse than animals that's what we are seeing so many times but that is a choice that a human being is making a human being at every time has a choice whether to do this or not to do this we have repeatedly said that a human being since since it is a baby it has this sense of dharma a human being will never want that wrong thing to happen to himself uh, what he is doing to others so that sense of dharma is there we had taken that example of a gunda also ki ek gunde ko bhi wo chahiye ki uska jo subordinate hai wo uske sath loyal hi rahe wo uske ghar mein chori nahi kare wo uske ghar walon ko harm nahi pahunchaye so how much ever they are going around robbing people killing people but he will want his subordinate to be loyal right so that sense of dharma is always there in human beings so what human beings are doing when they are not following dharma it is a choice that they are making right so that is why because of this buddhi because of this sense of dharma and because of this power of free will human beings become kartas also along with being bhuktas they become kartas also and animals have a very very limited intellect that way do you understand the difference oh yes so that is why animals are only bhuktas they cannot even whatever they do even if they kill bite bark whatever they do they they do not acquire new karmas in an animal world but we every action of ours it leads to a we become kartas along with being bhuktas along with experiencing the sukha dukhas of our past karma phalas we are also kartas okay so uh... so from yes. animal there is no chance to go direct uh, uh, direct moksha no. okay no. so that is why human birth is so conducive that is why human birth is considered to be such a great privilege in all the shastras it is again and again and again repeatedly mentioned that how like what and all punyam we have we have had to do in order to get a human birth hence use this human birth to get liberated because this is the only place from where you will get liberated uh i have one uh, confusion here um, there are a few examples in scriptures like gajendra moksha where um, you know from elephant he got moksha elephant body And then there are few other examples like bharat maharaj also he was into uh, hiran the body and then from there he got moksha so right. these are exceptional or exceptional cases so in every in every rule there are exceptions right so we always say that there is a rule that you have to go by the process of karma yoga upasana yoga gnana yoga and that's how you get moksha but then there are exceptions like ramana maharishi in that also so in every case there are exceptions and uh, gajendra moksha or the the story of uh, bharat maharaj so maybe they uh, i i am not very sure which part of the scriptures they come in but maybe they are part of puranas especially the story of bharat maharaj so puranas as we said that puranas they are not necessarily absolute truth you know they are form like they are around the shrutis they are made into stories so that they reach the lay people matlab ye jo agar hum shruti ya smriti wo sab padhne ka koshish karenge we need a certain level of intellect to understand that because it is quite abstract right so for very very lay, lay people the, the the puranas were made to bring out those kind of in the form of stories in the form of 
personification of ideals, personification of values, so that it they can relate to it, right? So it could be because of uh, that reason also. But Shastras repeatedly say that it is the human birth alone that is from where moksha is possible. So make a, like very, very good use of uh, the human birth. Right? Clear? Yes, yes. Thank you. Okay. Right. So we were talking about Agami karmas. Okay. So Agami karmas, they are the fresh punya, uh, the fresh karmas that we uh, that we do and they will produce fresh punya papams and like i said those agami karmas they can fructify or produce result in this janma or if they cannot give fruits in this janma then they will also go in the big bag of sanchita and they will give results when they mature like just for example, I've given this example before also. Like say in this janma, you are just lying very filthy all the time, very, very dirty without taking a bath, without cleaning your house. You're just going on eating like a glutton all the time. Okay. That's your lifestyle. That's your life. Okay. You don't do anything beyond that. Then the agami karmas that you have created they may require a pig's body to fructify or to give results. Okay. So those agami karmas cannot mature in this janma because the human body is not a proper instrument for that kind of agami karma which you have created. For that, you will need a pig's body. Or, you know, this is just to make you understand, okay, why all agamis cannot fructify in this world. Okay. Don't take this example too far. I always say don't take this example too far. Don't take any example too far. Understand it only in the context. Ye khali samjane ke liye ki sara, sare agami karmas yehi janma mein kyu nahi fructify ho sakte. Kyunke ye sharir shayad it is not an appropriate instrument to bear the fruits of the kind of agami karmas that we have created. Okay. Same way, if in this janma, we have done too many good karmas, okay? Bohat zyada paropkar karma, bohat achche karma kiye hai. And our agami is so good that, that its results will be very, very, very good. But by the time you have accumulated those agami karmas, your body has become really old, okay? Suppose you become very old, very sick. and that body, the frail body is in no condition to enjoy those good results. So then again, what happens? Those agamis cannot fructify in this janma. So they will go in the sanchita bag. So maybe you will get a celestial body or a devta body in Swargaloka to enjoy the fruits of those good karmas. Okay. So your present life is the result of some of your agamis and whole of your prarabdha. Hum aaj jo experience kar rahe hai, usme do cheeze aati hai. Ek to, kuch hamare agami karmas, right? Those agami karmas which are possible to fructify in this body only. So those agami karmas also we will experience plus the entire prarabdha. The entire prarabdha packet we have to experience in this janma. So at the end of the present janma, that means when you die in this birth, at that time what happens? The prarabdha is completely exhausted. Right? You are dying only because of your prarabdha being exhausted. Tumara jo prarabdha ka packet, jo Bhagawan ne, Ishwar ne decide karke diya tha, wo packet exhaust ho gaya. Wo sare sukham, dukham, sare humne experience kar liye. Iske liye to hi we die. Okay. So when you are when you die in this uh, janma, what happens? The prarabdha is completely exhausted. And like I explained, some agamis are exhausted. 
but some agami karmas which remain they will join the big bundle of sanchitam okay and out of that sanchitam the next packet of prarabdham gets ready to give you punarjanma with a body according to the type of prarabdha packet the prarabdha that packet holds okay so the and and in that next janma also what happens you exhaust those prarabdha you acquire new agami some of them are exhausted some are kept back and they all join the sanchita and this cycle just goes on and on and on okay this is a never ending story of an ignorant person of an agnani person ye teen karmas ekdam clearly samajh mein aa gaye sanchita prarabdha and agami karmas okay so now in this in the case of agnani this is what keeps happening okay new agami is made they keep getting collected in the sanchita sanchita bag bharta hi jata hai usme se prarabdha hota hai and prarabdha ke basis pe rebirth hota hai okay now what happens in the case of agnani if you get gnanam in this janma okay that means if you assimilate that aham brahmasmi अहम सच्चिदानंद स्वरूप अहम तत्वमसी इफ यू कंप्लीटली स्पॉन्टेनियसली एफर्टलेसली एट ऑल टाइम्स लिव विद दिस आत्मज्ञानम यू आर सेट टू बी कंप्लीटली एस्टैब्लिश्ड इन आत्मज्ञानम ओके यू आर कॉल्ड अज्ञान निष्ठ सो वंस यू आर टोटली एस्टैब्लिश्ड इन ज्ञानम दैट मींस यू forget that you are a you are this body mind sense complex okay you never forget that you are sachidananda brahman you never forget that you are brahman you never identify with this body mind sense complex yes in vyavaharika plane if anyone asks you what is your name you can say okay i am so and so i am charvi i am hitarji i am deepak ji i am molly whatever in vyavaharika plane you can say you can give all the descriptions that you want to in your aadhar card but in your mental aadhar card cognitively even when i am saying i am charvi i have to remember that i am sachidananda brahman so that is called gnana nishtha i never forget that i am brahman that is called gnana nishtha i always remember that i am not this body mind sense complex i i have no ahankara no identification with this body with my thoughts with my senses and because of that i have no mamakara also okay i do not identify with this is mine that is mine this thoughts are mine this body is mine no ahankara no mamakara so what happens you always remember that you are not the shariratrayam okay you no longer identify with this shariratrayam at every moment you claim that you are the brahman right that is what is gnana nishtha that is what is gaining gnanam now this sanchita okay this sanchita karma that we said the big bag of sanchita that is associated with the shariram it is the karana shariram remember we had said all our papa punyas they get collected in this karana shariram they are stored karana shariram was a depot we said right it was a repository where it is storing all the things that is the sanchita karma the sanchita bag so it is the karana shariram and it is that which generates the sukshma and the sthula sharirams right so this sanchita is associated with the shariratrayam right but now you no more identify with the three bodies so there is no one to claim the sanchita karma only ek example deti hu say i have an account in a bank under the name of charvi okay now suppose 
चार वी डज नॉट एक्सिस्ट ओनली ओके चार वी इन द स्थूल शरीर चार वी इन द सूक्ष्म शरीर चार वी इन द कारण शरीर ऑल्सो डज नॉट एक्सिस्ट ओनली ओके नाउ इफ दिस चार वी एब्सोल्युटली डज नॉट एक्सिस्ट देन वॉट विल हैपन देर विल बी नो वन टू क्लेम दैट मनी इन दैट अकाउंट नो राइट दिस अकाउंट जो बैंक में अकाउंट है वो अनक्लेम हो, हो जाएगा वो डोमेंट हो जाएगा राइट इन द सेम वे वेन आई द आत्मा वेन आई द ब्रह्मन आई द कॉन्शियसनेस प्रिंसिपल डोंट आइडेंटिफाई ओनली विद द थ्री बॉडीज हाउ कैन आई द आत्मा इवन क्लेम द संचित अकाउंट That Sanchita account belonged to a particular कारण शरीर Now I know that I am not that स्थूल सूक्ष्म कारण शरीर only. Then why would I claim that Sanchita? मैं वो हूं ही नहीं जिसका वो संचित account है तो मुझे उस संचित से क्या connection? Right? मेरे लिए वो exist ही नहीं करता I am the Brahman. So we say that ज्ञानम this atma gnanam it destroys all the sanchita karmas because there is no connection only i i cannot claim that because i i do not identify only with this body mind sense complex so us sanchita se mera kya connection uh deepak ji aapka jo question ki the sanchita bag Yes, the Sanchita bag can never get exhausted. वो हर मोमेंट हम कर्म करते ही जाते हैं उसमें एड होते ही जाता है सो यू कैन नेवर एग्जॉस्ट दैट कर द संचित बैग यू कैन नेवर एग्जॉस्ट योर संचित कर्मास इट इज इम्पॉसिबल टू एग्जॉस्ट ऑल द संचित कर्मास बट आउट ऑफ आत्म ज्ञानम आउट ऑफ ज्ञान निष्ठा वॉट डू यू डू यू डोंट आइडेंटिफाई ओनली विद दो संचित कर्मास यू डोंट क्लेम दैम अगर वो मेरा है ही नहीं तो मुझे उसके साथ क्या कनेक्शन राइट यस मैम क्लियर इफ देर इज इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ओके एंड द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज मे बी इट इज ओके इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज गिवन टू एन एग्जीक्यूशनर चेयर राइट जो एग्जीक्यूशन करने के लिए जो चेयर यूज होता है इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज फंक्शनिंग थ्रू इट बट कैन द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी क्लेम कि मैंने उस आदमी को मार डाला जिस जो वो चेयर पे बैठा था या वो ही इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कुछ अच्छा काम करने के लिए भी यूज होता है पर कैन दैट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी क्लेम कि मैंने वो अच्छा काम किया so all the karmas everything belongs to the sharira trayam and we are not that sharira trayam the moment we disidentify with the sharira trayam we disidentify with the sanchita also which which are associated only with the sharira trayam yes yes sorry hitar ji you had a question since a long time please ask um uh, we since we are brahman uh, we are uh, we, we are we are the same electricity uh, and and the source of electricity is the same right right so um difference is we we do not so far we do not have we did not have gnanam and we didn't believe completely you know what uh you know the scriptures has to say and what we need to do but now we have understood so if we surrender like you know at this moment if i surrender like uh that you know i'm completely surrender to unto you completely surrender to what to you know uh, supreme okay uh, okay um so like so so they will so supreme power okay uh, so we we will be controlled by supreme power at that moment or uh, um 
चाहे अवर एक्शन आर स्टिल अंडर अवर ओन कंट्रोल और लाइक ओके so the supreme power that you are saying is it different from you or is it the same as you it's the same but uh, as i mentioned it's the same electricity as, as we have studied huh. uh, uh, the source of electricity and electricity is the same thing hmm. um, but um, so i'm i'm little confused here that uh, do i need to surrender to supreme power or okay. yeah so surrender first firstly you tell me what do you understand by surrender when you say i surrender what do you understand by surrender so surrender i i understand by surrender means surrendering to consciousness in terms of consciousness uh, means um uh, you know i i give all my like you know trust or whatever you know believe i have mm-hmm. you know i do not have any doubt i completely you know surrender to uh, you know the supreme power okay. so the consciousness principle the sat chid anand brahman you are completely convinced about it okay that is what you are meaning by uh, me, uh, that is what you un- uh, what, that is what you are meaning when you are saying that i surrender i yes, have yes. no doubt that i am sat chid anand brahman yes right okay. okay so what 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 was that okay that, that much is understood uske baad aap kya puch rahe hain so now so i live uh, like you know whatever actions i am going to take in, you know now onwards Haan. you know i completely you know like i want to align it with you know whatever the absolute truth is whatever 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 the absolute truth uh, is you so know you- what, okay whatever actions you are doing okay mm-hmm. when you say that i do actions okay mm-hmm. so even when that thought is there no in our mind still the kartritva bhavana is there that mm-hmm. means i am doing a particular action i will do it so you can't do it aligned with consciousness you mm-hmm. you do your actions aligned with dharma right the consciousness you can you can't do it any like a bulb can't light up aligned with electricity a bulb will do its job of lighting up a fan will do its job of rotating okay electricity is just there to make that thing function okay now okay let us just finish this this section of uh, the karmas then you will get more clarity okay about what you have how you have to act and all that okay yeah is that okay hitar ji can i push the question for a yes. little time yes. okay to so, ye khali first thing samjha ki how what, how we are saying that gnanam destroys all the sanchita gnanam does not literally destroy the sanchita gnanam destroys the connection with the sanchita okay अभी वो वो बैंक अकाउंट में वो लॉकर में जो भी पड़ा है हमारा उसके साथ कुछ कनेक्शन ही नहीं है ओके नाउ आल्सो बिकॉज़ द ज्ञानी डज नॉट हैव एनी आइडेंटिफिकेशन विद द शरीर त्रयम ओके द ज्ञानी इज ऑल द टाइम एस्टैब्लिश्ड इन ब्रह्मन दैट मींस द ज्ञानी डज नॉट हैव एनी अहंकार एनी ममकार ओके द ज्ञानी डज नॉट ever even for a moment think that i am this body mind sense complex or this body mind sense complex belongs to me it does not have this abhimana or identification of the body mind sense complex of the sharira trayam because he knows that he is brahman so that gnani also becomes a karta abhokta so when he is an akarta then where is the question of agami karma in in geeta krishna says no nahanyate nahanyamane sharire means the, i the i the gnani who is pure consciousness i am not the doer okay i am like we said the electricity 
even if it is executing a person it is not the doer of that action so when i am an akarta when i am not doing that action only how can i acquire agami karma also right because the brahman is neither the doer nor the experience it is the <clears throat> it all belongs to the anatma it all belongs to the shariratrayam it is the mind that is giving the instructions it is the physical body that is doing the action i am the brahman i am completely disassociated with the shariratrayam like the crystal and the red table cloth that redness belongs to the table cloth it does not affect the crystal in any way although apparently it seems that the crystal has become red so that way if you are agnani you are saved from both sanchita as well as agami okay so agami ke sath sanchita ke sath connection hi chhut jata hai and agami to hum create hi nahi karte because we are not kartas any more if i am agnani i am not the karta so if you are agnani you are saved from both sanchita and agam then only one remains that is the prarabdham now this prarabdham is a tricky one okay the prarabdham is like an arrow which has left the bow it is the bullet which has left the gun so no matter what the gnani has to experience those set of karma phala it will continue to give even if you get gnana even if you are associated with brahman all the time the prarabdham will continue to give you pleasurable and painful experiences till the gnani gives up this physical body but because you are a gnani you know that these experiences okay these pleasurable or painful experiences they can affect only the body mind sense complex and the gnani being established in the higher i the gnani being established in atman he does not bother much about these insignificant insignificant problems okay he knows that they are all mithya jaise dream mein okay jaise hum jab so rahe hai dream mein agar कुछ भी हमारे साथ होता है हम हम में भी राजा बन जाते हैं पैलेस में रहते हैं एकदम ऑसम प्लेजरेबल एक्सपीरियंसेस मिलते हैं या एकदम बुरे एक्सपीरियंसेस ओके कुछ भी कुछ इंजरी ये वो कुछ भी पर जब व्हेन वी वेक अप वी जस्ट डिसमिस देम राइट वी जस्ट डिसमिस देम एज ड्रीम सेम वे अज्ञानी इज अ सुपर वेकर agnani can dismiss all the problems related to the body mind sense complex as mithya they are not satyam they are mithya he never forgets that brahma satyam jagan mithya jeevo brahma eva na parah and since jagat including my body mind sense complex since that is mithya jeevo brahma eva he knows that since jagat is mithya that means all its problems are also mithya only they are just a different order of reality jaise dream ki jo reality hai when we wake up we can dismiss that reality aisa nahi hai ki dream tha hi nahi the reality of the dream the order of the reality of the dream was different jab hum so rahe the tab hame wo dukh bhi ho hi raha tha jab hum sapna dekh rahe the right we cry also in our uh, if we are dreaming uh, something really sad so it's not that it 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 wasn't there okay it it was non existent but the order of reality was different when you wake up you can completely dismiss what happened in the dream same way when agnani is a super waker agnani can absolutely dismiss the problems of this jagat as mithya because jagat itself is mithya so the problems of the jagat are also mithya so it is not that a gnani will never fall sick or a gnani will never get pains 
but he becomes totally objective to the pains he knows that the body will have to go through its prarabdha the body will have to experience whatever is written in the prarabdha the mind also has to go through its prarabdha but i will just watch it i will just be the witness i will not get affected by it because i am just the sakshi chaitanya ek screen ke upar movie ke screen ke upar kitni bhi goliyan chalengi ya fire hoga like in the in the in the movie if there is a fire if there is there is gun shooting happening or if there is holy being played and there are lots of colors being thrown all over the screen yet the screen is absolutely unaffected the screen just watches the projection jo bhi ho raha hai uske upar dekh raha hai it is just witnessing it so we see that whatever the pains uh, uh, the gnani has to go through he doesn't have an unhealthy response he is immunized against all the prarabdha because of his knowledge now once the gnani's prarabdha is exhausted then what happens when the gnani's prarabdha is exhausted so sabse pehle sanchita to unclaim ho gaya right prarabdha exhaust ho gaya jitna prarabdha experience karna tha wo to humne kar liya to prarabdha ka packet to khali ho gaya and agami is not acquired only because i am an akarta how can i acquire agami therefore there is no karma only there is no karma with which i associate now since there is neither punyam nor papam there is no karma and hence there is no karma phalam only that means agnani does not require to get a new birth because as we know birth is taken only to experience the fruits of karma in the form of sukham and dukham now that there is no karma only there is no question of taking another birth no that means freedom from this painful cycle of birth and death, death. freedom from samsara so this is called videha mukti so the gnani as a result of gnanam he enjoys jeevan mukti till his body is there jab tak uska prarabdha continue karta hai tab tak he totally enjoys the jeevan mukti and when he drops the body he gets videha mukti so this is gnana phalam and krishna mentions the benefits of gnana gnanam in the fourth chapter as so he 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 men- mentions four types of benefits okay he says because of gnanam firstly what happens mohanasham mohanasham means all the conflicts in our life are gone so jeevan mukti we are able to enjoy it's not because i have control over the future okay not because i have complete knowledge of the future it's not because of some mystical experience that i have got now i have gotten some siddhi and now i not not because of that but because this self knowledge gives me the strength to face the future so all our conflicts are born out of weakness our incapacity to face the future because of the misconception that we have about ourselves that i am this body mind sense complex once the gnanam is there the consequences can be positive negative whatever but i am confident if it works well very good if it does not work well also equally good so krishna says mohanasham is the first benefit then papanasham all the papas that we have done no even those papas do not belong to me because they were done by this body mind sense complex and i don't identify with this body mind sense complex so those sanchita karmas which were full of papam they are we, we do not associate with them any in any way so in that way it is called papanasham krishna calls it papanasham and sarva karmanasham so not only papanasham it is also punyanasham now if we have uh okay it's time but i'll just take 
five more minutes. There is a very important Bilva session today uh, after our class. I'll just take five more minutes, okay? Uh, yes, so I said Sarva Karmanasham. So Punya Nasha also happens along with Papanasham. Now we might say that are punya kyu jane dena hai. I mean, I would rather go to Swarga Lok, I would rather go to Brahma Lok, I would rather enjoy my Punyam. But we have to understand this that Punyam is also nothing but shackles. Okay. Punyam is golden shackles. We can say papam is iron shackles with barbed wires and all. But punyam is also shackles only. Because of punyam also you will have to take rebirth. Wo enjoy karne ko milega. Lekin saath mein samsara bhi aega hi. So sarva karma nasha. Even papa, punya, all the karmas get destroyed. We do not associate with that anymore. So like Shankara says, no more like punarapi jananam, punarapi maranam. Free from that punarapi jananam, punarapi maranam cycle only. Because of sarva karma nasha. That sarva karma nasha is important, not only papa nasha. And the fourth benefit Krishna says is jiva ishvara aikya darshanam. The jnani recognizes this essential oneness between jiva and ishvara. Like the wave, the wave understands that the essence of me, the wave, and the essence of the ocean is the same. Ocean may be big, wave may be very small, ocean may be permanent relatively, the wave may be very temporary, but the wave and ocean are different only from the standpoint of name and form. Nama Rupa ke standpoint se hi different hai. Essentially, both are nothing but water. Similarly, Ishwara and I are one. So this Aham Brahmasmi is also the benefit of Nanam. So that is what Krishna says. Mohanasham, Papanasham, Sarva Karmanasham and Jiva Aishwara, Jiva Ishwara Aikya Darshanam. These are the benefits. Right? So, Jeevan Mukti, Videha Mukti, they are all, they are both the benefits of Jnanam. So, now I am free from this cycle of birth and death. Or we can call this together as Mohanasha, Papanasha, Sarva Karmanasha and enjoying Jeeva Ishwara Aikya Darshanam. So, Tattva Bodha ends with this particular verse. Yeah. yeah. So this is the verse. Tattva Bodha ends with this verse. It says, Tanum tyajatu va kashyam shwapachasya gruhetha va jnana sampraptim samaye mukti asau vigata shayaha iti smritescha. So let the jnani cast his body in kashi, okay, in a sacred place like kashi. Like Kashi ka Maranam, right? People go to die in Kashi. So a Jnani can die in Kashi or he can die in the house of a dog eater. Okay, in those times the, they were called like chandalas. Okay, it's, it's, it's not uh, important, but basically in any, in the dirtiest of the place or you can die in Kashi. It is immaterial. It does not matter because at the time of gaining jnanam itself, at the kind, time of gaining knowledge itself, the jnani is liberated. The jnani is free from all the results of action. So this, this is asserted by the smritis also. So that is the pramanam that is given. That this jnani is liberated whenever he dies. Whenever the jnani dies, the jnani is, wherever the jnani dies, the jnani is liberated. Okay. So,
so hitarth ji i hope now uh, you are clear yes yes all right so we we'll end this class here does anyone have any doubt we can take another 2 minutes theek hai so next class will be our last class we'll just go through the means of gaining self knowledge and we'll just consolidate the whole session the whole whole course and yes so uh if any doubts are there bring up in the next class okay ma'am yes yes ji yes ma'am last session mein ye sab quick view ho jayega ek hi session mein uh we we'll just taken a very quick very brief overview of the the whole process matlab kya karna hai hame roz bhale ma'am do ya teen week bal lag jaye thoda slow jayenge to better rahega ek pura recall ho jayega is possible agar aapka koi aur commitment na ho to okay let let's see okay let let's see if we cannot finish in the next class we can have one more session right ma'am thank you yes पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्ण मुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शाशाशाति हरि श्री गुरुभ्यो नम hari yo thank you everyone there is a very very beautiful uh, bilwa session coming up right now by nitya jagannath so try and attend it is it is a very important uh, lecture thank you namaste